Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy, and I'm super glad you decided to stop by. In today's video, I'll be sharing some decorating, a dinner idea for fall, as well as a dessert. So for tonight, I'll be making a dinner staple for us, which incorporates some acorn squash, some apple and sausage and cheese, and it is super filling and so comforting, especially during fall. I also want to try out a new recipe for dessert, which is called an apple blondie. And then I want to spruce up a few areas. It's still in our home, so I'll be taking you along as I decorate those. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate a big thumbs up. That really helps me a lot. Also, be sure to say hi down in the comments and also let me know what is a fall dinner staple in your home. I'd love to hear and try those out. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my cup of coffee and then we can get started. So go ahead, grab you a cup, sit back and relax. The first area that I want to spruce up today is here at the window in our Eden kitchen area. And I'm thinking about adding a valance. If you remember in my kitchen decorate with me, I added a valance over our sink in the kitchen area with a tension rod. But over here, I want to hang the valance as high as possible so that we still get the most light filtering in through this window. It took a little convincing for my hubby Scott to agree, but now that he does, I'm ready to hang a matching balance over here to just tie the two spaces together. Now both the rod and the curtain are from Amazon and I'll go ahead and link those down below for you. Here is the rod that I chose. It is a room darkening rod because it wraps around the sides and actually came as a set of two. Now I did notice that one of them had a little bit of scuffing on it, which I didn't like, but it comes with the hardware and anchors, which I might have to use. I'm thinking I'll go two to three inches from the ceiling so that we get that optimal amount of light still being able to filter in. So we'll go ahead and measure this and get this hung. Dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful, and how oh, I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down, and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. As with every little home project, there's always a little mess left behind. So I'm going to quickly clean this up and then I need to iron that valance before we hang it up and see what it looks like. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror Okay, so here is how it turned out. I think I made a little boo-boo. I think I hung it too high because I don't think you should be able to see the top of the window here. Um, so I'm going to have to lower the rod about two to three inches. When I measured it, I didn't take into consideration that top ruffle. So I'm not gonna be doing that in today's video, but you'll see the final product in our upcoming home tour. So I've made it more work for myself, but I'm going to go ahead and keep that in to today's video. A lot of times you think us YouTubers have it just down pat and everything works out perfectly when in fact it doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead, clean up, and I wanted to share with you a couple little things that I picked up yesterday. So just like a little mini haul. 
as I was out yesterday picking up the ingredients for tonight's dinner, I also picked up a few things and I thought I would share those with you as well. I thought maybe you'd be interested. A few are clothing items for fall, as well as just some things I pick up for beauty and then a couple decor pieces. So we'll first start at TJ Maxx. I went over there to try to see if there was any nice decor that I wanted to get, but unfortunately there wasn't any that I spotted. But I did see a couple shirts, so I wanted to share those with you. I thought this t-shirt was super cute. It's flowy and it has kind of like this tie or faux tie ruching down here on the side. I think this will look really pretty with leggings and then maybe even a jean jacket for the fall. I thought that was super cute and it's so, so soft. Now it's from the brand Green Envelope and it was $14.99 and I love this color and I love that it's faded and looks a little bit worn in. So I picked up that and then I also saw my favorite color for fall, which is this burnt orange. And then it has this beautiful detailing here on the sleeve and then the top with the white. And I just thought that was perfect for fall. I can't wait to wear it and just enjoy the fall season. It's one of my favorite colors. Like I said, I've spread it all throughout my house, as you can see, even here on the pillows, pumpkins. I just love this color. So I thought it was perfect for fall. And it is from the brand Rain and Rose. And I, it was $19.99. And both of these I got as a size medium. All right, moving right along, I went over to Walmart and I picked up a few beauty products that I like to use for my hair. The first two being the Garnier Fruit, Fructus Style. I don't know how to say that, but <laughs> it's the flat iron protector. I like to use this because I'm always straightening my hair. It's kind of, it has a wave to it, but it's straight in some places. So it's kind of hard to manage. So I always try to straighten it to make it look a little bit more smooth and less frizzy. And so I think this helps and it gives us, me that sleek look. And then I love this also by Garnier Fructus Style is the Shine Glossing Spray. I'll just take that and kind of like about right here, about you know, what, 18 inches, something like that and spray and it'll just make your hair glisten. Now you don't want to use too much of this because it could give you like an oily look, but it just really makes your hair shine and look healthy. And so I like to put that on it as a finishing spray and it says for a sleek finish as well. And I love the smell of this. It's so nice. I love it. And then also at Walmart, I like CoverGirl lipsticks. They, I like that they stay and this one, I don't know what the, the color was, but it was 425. I have two others. Uh, That's what I'm wearing today. And I like the color for fall. It's a little bit darker, as you can see. And so I really like that color for fall. And then I picked up this gloss. It is Exhibitionist Lip Gloss. And, <laughs> and the, the name of it is Unsubscribe. Let's not do that, guys. <laughs> but it's 140 unsubscribe, but I love that it has that like gold fleck in it. And so it gives that really glossy look. And it's got that kind of um, applicator at the end, but I'm wearing both of those together. And I thought that maybe you'd want to know what I'm using. So those are the two that I'm liking right now. And I picked up yesterday. <laughs> And then I stopped over at Target and I'm always looking at our Target dollar spot. Ours is always really sparse, but I was super excited that they had one Sherpa pumpkin and it's for $3. Again, that beautiful color that I love. So I was super happy to run on to this one. And then I had seen on a lot of Instagram photos and pictures of people picking up this and it's that amber glass and I love that detail. So we'll be decorating a little later with these two items, but both were $3 and I think they're going to be beautiful. And I love that this is like an amber glass and you know that I've been using amber glass and all that coppery look throughout my house. So those are just the few things that I picked up yesterday. So I hope that you enjoyed this portion of a little mini haul. 
Okay, so for tonight's dinner, here is all the ingredients that you will need. You'll need a couple of acorn squash, small or medium size that works best. Then you'll need an onion and some celery, and then a couple of apples. And then you can use either a pound or a half a pound of sausage. This is the one that I chose. You'll need some olive oil, salt and pepper. You'll need some garlic, some crushed rosemary, or you could get fresh, of course. And then for the end, you usually add some Planko breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese to make it super yummy. So we'll go ahead and get started here. You wanna go ahead and set the temperature to 400 degrees. And while that is heating up, we can go ahead and cut up our acorn squash. So wanted to let you know that both dinner and the dessert will be linked down in the description box so you can either screenshot it or print it off the recipe and make these for yourself. You might have noticed that my t-shirt says be still and know and that comes from one of my favorite psalms which is Psalm 4610 and I just love it and what it's saying is God is ready to help us in the present moment and we can place our trust in him. There's no need to fear no matter what happens around us or on earth. Just remember that he has the power to deliver us from the things that are beyond our abilities and he is our one true helper. If you're interested in getting a t-shirt like mine or one that is similar, you can go and check out Faith in Love. I love the quality of their t-shirts and all of their sayings. I'm out of time. Now that our mixture is all finished, we can set that aside. And now our squash bowls should be about ready to come out of the oven. So I'm gonna get those out and then just make sure that they are nice and tender. And then we can start spooning in the mixture. And because I opted for a pound of sausage, mine are going to be heaping full. To top it all off, I'll sprinkle some Parmesan cheese and then return that back to the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Make sure to keep an eye on it because I left mine the total 20 minutes and I think it was just a, maybe a bit too long. At this point, the house is smelling so good, it just sets the mood for a perfect fall dinner. Okay, now for dessert. For the apple blondies, you'll need some butter, brown sugar, normal sugar, some cinnamon, one egg, a couple of apples, a cup of flour, 
baking powder and baking soda, and then some salt. So we'll go ahead and start on dessert. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say you can take all right so i just finished up cleaning up the kitchen and put all of the things away and i just pulled the blondies out of the oven and this is how they are looking i think they are a little bit dark but the toothpick was coming out with still some of the batter so i waited till it came out clean and this is what I got. So hopefully it'll taste good and I'll let you know here in a few. But first I want to go ahead and decorate my table and the and our island with some of the pieces that I picked up from Target. So let's go ahead and decorate those areas. I'm first starting with a cutting board here on the island to change up the arrangement a bit. I love using cutting boards, especially in the kitchen, but also as a tray to center or ground your decor. I added that picture that was from Michael's with Hobby Lobby florals and then some candlesticks to pull in some white. Then, since I've been scattering white and black, especially some buffalo plaid, I thought a pumpkin here in the center would just pull it all together. And there it is, super simple, but I think it makes a perfect centerpiece for our island. Okay, so we swung over here to the Kitchen Eden area, and I got a few comments when I decorated here in the kitchen for fall that my centerpiece was a little too tall. And I kind of agree with you guys because I would have to move it to the side so that we could see each other and have conversation. So I thought I would use that amber glass face that I got from Target along with that pumpkin and just create a little bit lower profile centerpiece. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here it is, straight out of the oven. I wanted to give it a try, see how I did. It looks good. You hear Nyla in the background, she's barking. Uh, the kids are walking home from school, so she always barks. 
Oh, so good. I do good. Tastes very good. You have to give it a try. Okay, friends. Well, that does it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was a little bit of decorating, baking, and cooking. A little bit different for me. So if you did enjoy it, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up so that I know that you do enjoy these type of videos. Also, let me know down in the comments if you plan to make these. They're super tasty, so I hope that you'll give them a try. I thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Remember, next week, I'll be sharing with you my 2021 fall home tour, so you definitely won't want to miss that. So get that notification bell set, and also hit subscribe. You won't want to miss it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and God bless. Bye.